new, 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 new. All right. First up, this is exciting. This took a while to do. In fact, this is there's servers involved. There's numbers and codes. There's everything. This is the IoT card. The IoT Plus card. So if you would like to help support Adafruit IO, our premier and amazing and wonderful uh, maker and also professional Adafruit IO IoT service, um, it's, you can use it for free, of course, and you get a couple feeds and you get some capabilities. But if you really want a lot of feeds and a, you know, a lot of um, uh, data storage, and if you want access to some of our cool premier APIs like Dark Sky, which lets you get weather data without having to use any other um, sort of key, it does the uh, a data transmission for you, pick up one of these uh, Adafruit IO cards. You don't have to get the card, but this way you can gift it to people, which is kind of cool um, if you want, or you can keep it for later. It normally comes with a code on the back. It, the code does not appear here, obviously, because you'll get yeah. a code. <laughs> and then yeah. see, see this uh, white spot there? That's where the code is. We, we had to, you know. We photoshopped that we out. Photo- <laughs> we, we, we used tools to get rid of that. So yep. That's the card. They look beautiful, too. Yeah, it's I can show gift. them. Yeah. I can show it's got like um, a hologram on it, yeah. which is like super cool, and it comes in a, in a nice uh, a crystalline bag, uh, and it has instructions on the back on how to redeem it. And uh, you know, it's it's a little bit less expensive than uh, paying month by month, so you get one full year for ninety nine dollars, yeah. and it's a hundred and twenty dollar value. So if you would like to use Adafruit IO and support our development, um, yeah. every dollar we get from IO Plus uh, goes right back into developing more cool Adafruit IO stuff. You know, you hear this all the time. People are like, oh, if there's only a way for me to like pay for these IO services that don't go out of business, I would do it. Well, here you go. Here you go. It's finally here. And also, like, we have a um, bill of rights for your data. We do all the right mm-hmm. stuff. So if you want to reward someone who does the right thing, this is a way to do it. You can give this as a gift. Um, you can uh, use the new APIs that we have, like Dark Sky, like David was talking about. And it's also a nice collectible. And it's beautiful. Yes. So, okay. Okay. Next up, we have, uh, speaking of beautiful metallic things. Yes, we have, we have some of these beautiful metallic cables. Um, we had some USB cables uh, in Adabox, and we also got some of these um, uh, audio cables. So they're standard one meter long audio cables, but they're, um, they have these really nice metal cables to them. Um, they're actual metal. They're not just like metal colored. They're not like metal colored plastic. They're actually metal, so they're like cold right now. Oh, thanks, person who just gave a star. Um, so we have them in a couple different colors. This is like like gunmetal. I call this like black metal because it's like the darkest color. Um, we also have it in like kind of you know it's either you can say like rose gold or coppery. It's like steampunky, um, but it doesn't oxidize, so you you get this uh, copper color effect. Um, we also have them in silver, which is just silvery, kind of the silver you know and expect. And finally, uh, in what we like to call gold is best gold. So yeah. if you want a golden color. So we have them in four different colors. We also have these, of course, in, in plain rubber ABS. But uh, for the same price, you can get a metal cable. And they look really cool. And they're very durable and, and mm-hmm. rugged. They work quite well. Um, and they've got strain release and everything. What's the release. bend radius? Like, what does it look like when it I think, up? like, you know, maybe one inch. That's pretty good. I think you don't, you don't, you don't want to, I mean, you can bend it and you'll crimp yeah, it. Say but about an inch. I think, you know, you probably don't want to do much more than that. Yeah. Like one, two inches, maybe one and a half okay. inches. Um, but yeah, it feels really nice and um, they're nice and metallic. So that's some audio cables yeah. for you audiophiles. Okay, next up. Okay, next up we have an NTAG 203 sticker. We're getting uh, a bunch of NTAG 203 and NTAG 103 uh, chips, cards, tags. Um, if you're doing RFID, or NFC stuff. These are the the N tags are the format that are now supported by all the phones. So if you would like to have something where somebody taps their phone and the URL pops up, or or it takes them somewhere or a phone number, um, you want to use these tags. You can program them with our PN five thirty two breakout and other RFID program. You can usually also program them via a phone um, if you'd like. So this is a sticker. Uh, it's skinny. It's slim. You can stick it anywhere you want. It looks like the security stickers from you know books and stuff, but yeah. it's actually a, a full chip inside that's powered over our RFID okay. uh, signal. Well, the star of the show tonight, beside Noe Pedro, Lady Ada, and the community is it's here. Yes, oh, finally yeah. we have the NRF52840 in stock, and we'll be putting more and more in stock. So um, 
we, you know, we had a little bit of a, a, a bug that we found at the last minute. We wanted to fix it up before we put it in the store. So this is the NRF52840 Feather. Um, we also have a guide up that just went up right before the show, so you can check that out. It's our fully feather compatible um, native USB Bluetooth chipset. Uh, I really love this feather. It's got everything. It's got USB. It's got analog inputs. It's got native Bluetooth. Um, it's got lots of LEDs. It's got QSPY flash, so you can use this with CircuitPython, and it's really fast. It's got data storage. And, of course, we've tested it with all of our feather wings. And so you can plug 100 in... 100 plus wings. 100 plus wings yeah. from, you know, an OLED to the TFT to Ethernet to, you know, whatever else we come up with, sensors. Um, you'll be able to plug it in. And we have... Uh, Arduino support is done because Arduino support is pretty much the same as the NRF 52832. We have a UF2 drag and drop bootloader that um, people are really liking. Uh, you know, if MakeCode ever, ever adds support to the NR52840, uh, uh, this chip, this, this feather will probably be one of the boards you can use it with. But for now, we've got Arduino and we've got um, CircuitPython. CircuitPython, the Bluetooth API, we're still working on, but you can use the board itself as long as you're okay with, like, you're not using yeah. the radio quite yet. It's still quite a capable board. It's like one megabyte of flash, like 192 kilobytes of RAM, I think. Uh, Cortex M4, it's, it's running at 64 megahertz. It's a fast chip, like we said. 8-bit's not going to cut it anymore. People want 32-bit. And when we say Bluetooth, is it Bluetooth, Bluetooth LE? I'm glad you asked. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Well, it's, Bluetooth, it's Bluetooth low energy. Yeah. Um, it does not support Bluetooth Classic. That's a totally different protocol. But, you know, most devices don't really support Bluetooth Classic anymore anyway. So this is BLE. And in Arduino, we have a bunch of different uh, examples uh, from making a beacon to having, like, a bidirectional communication with our app. Our app works perfectly with this. Um, just as you would expect. So, uh, you know, you can download that for free. Um, there's a couple other things you can do with this. It can act as a central. Um, some of that code is not, you know, as stable as peripheral because central mode is not as common. Uh, so we suggest it's in peripheral mode. But, uh, you know, we'll be adding more and more central support as well to the NR52-8 family. So this is our first NR52-840 board. Um, getting that first chip set out is always kind of the most fun, exciting, challenging. Um, but we have a lot more shapes. If you have a suggested shape or design that you would like, uh, post it in Discord and we'll check it out. But we, uh, we plan to do more and this is just our first of the family. All right. New, 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 new. Okay, product. New, 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 yeah, as a recap. Do you love, uh, IoT services that uh, will stay up and not go out of business or sell off, then use Adafruit IO because it's here to stay. And if you want to use more, more, more bandwidth feeds, dashboards, and you want some cool API access, pick up a one full year pass of IO Plus. It's um, more than the free uh, version of Adafruit IO, and you help support our development and servers. Full metal cables. Right? Full <laughs> metal cables. These are full metal jacket cables. We got them in four colors copper. Uh, steampunk, gothy, uh, black, silvery silver, and uh, gold is best gold. Um, these are one meter long audio cables that uh, you can use with any stereo 3.5 millimeter device. They're cool and they're actual metal, not just metal colored plastic. This is an NTAG 203. Uh, this is an RFID NFC chip uh, with an NTAG 203. I think 144 bytes of memory in it, usable with any modern smart device or tablet that uses NFC or RFID. Um, and we finally have in stock the NRF52840 Feather. Everybody's been waiting. Thank you for your patience. Um, we are ready to ship it. This Feather has native USB, works with Arduino uh, and CircuitPython, and hopefully more um, programming languages soon. It's a Cortex-M4 with a megabyte of flash. Tons of RAM, um, NeoPixels, LEDs, even got an extra user button, battery powered. It's, it's all the stuff you love about Bluetooth Low Energy, but it even has native USB. Uh, which makes it perfect for CircuitPython and uh, more advanced development. Very integrated. That was the new.